Hey, this is Tyler from SpectraCal. I'm going to show you in this video how the HDR10 metadata works with the Quantum Data 780 pattern generator. So I'm going to go up to Source, go to Find Source. I'm going to select Quantum Data as the manufacturer, 780 as the model, and then select whatever COM port it's selected to on your machine. I'm going to hit Connect. Now on the source tab here, we have this little section down here. And when we enable this checkbox, it enables the HDR10 metadata. So we want the EOTF set to ST2084. And under display primaries, this is what the mastering display primaries are. So most of the content right now is for P3 mastering primaries. And you can set the white point. And down here is where you set the maximum and minimum luminance of the mastering display. So by default we have it set to 1000 nits and 1 nit and the max CLL which is the max content light level so that's the brightest that any of the content gets is set to 1000 nits and the max fall which is the frame average light level is set to 400 which is the maximum allowed on UHD Blu-ray. So after these values are set you can measure the display and see how it performs in HDR mode. You probably want to set your workflow to ST2084 as the EOTF. So you would go to Workflow Basic Options and under Gamma Formula, you would select ST2084 HDR. We are working on an HDR10 workflow. It should be out in the next major release of CalMAN. Thank you very much and email support at spectracal.com if you have any questions.